That was the French President Nicolas Sarkozy speaking earlier today. Uh, our Elena Casasa was at the Elysee Palace when the President was speaking. Uh, Elena, what else did the President have to say? He only some very short remarks. He was very careful, I think, to avoid anything that could be interpreted as a campaign announcement or a policy announcement, or worse than anything, him trying to take political capital for all of this. He was at his most diplomatic, his most dignified, his most presidential, as he has been since this first happened on Monday. He's not a candidate at the moment in the ongoing election. He's the president. He's trying to bring the country together. He focused strongly on unity between different ethnic and religious groups. He said uh, that we owed it to the victims' memories, that France owed it to the victims' memories to come together as much as possible in unity and solidarity. So very diplomatic. He met, as you said, with uh, leading Jewish and Muslim leaders here in France earlier today, including the rector of the Paris Mosque, including uh, France's chief rabbi. They, of course, will be really keen to avoid any political capitalization on this, any manipulation. Of course, we are in the middle of a very uh, sort of what has been a very violently worded uh, presidential campaign on the subject of race and religion, which has come up a great deal. Nicolas Sarkozy himself, uh, Interior Minister Claude Guéant, and of course, far right candidate Marine Le Pen have all had a great deal to say about Islam, about immigration, which could have been interpreted, interpreted rather as uh, inflammatory or indeed intolerant. Now, lots of analysts will be saying now that this political climate helped create the circumstances in which an atrocity like this could happen. Islamists, of course, feel uh, isolated, persecuted, perhaps excluded from the mainstream of French society. Lots of people are saying that that kind of discourse could well have inflamed someone who already felt that way. So Nicolas Sarkozy will be doing his absolute best to avoid saying anything that could be interpreted as in any way inflammatory, as in any way politicizing this. He's being as diplomatic and as neutral as possible. Now, Elena, as you mentioned, race and religion have uh, truly been part of the presidential campaign. We're now just a few weeks away from the first round of the presidential election here in France. Uh, another big issue in that campaign has been security. Uh, yesterday, the president said uh, that he would be, uh, yesterday and the day before, the president said he would be putting more security out around schools, particularly Jewish schools throughout France. Uh, what's happening with that? Well, I think we can expect the campaign to go more in this direction. This will probably turn, you know, it's, it's hard to say now, but it will probably turn after the election into the, the event that's really marked this campaign. So I think we can expect him to go in a more of a law and order direction with the policies that he announces once campaigning officially begins. Of course, it's still really suspended at the moment. And uh, in terms of security directly related to this issue, well, there's only one killer and we appear to have tracked him down. But it has created an atmosphere of fear and panic among the French, of course, until this morning people just didn't know where he was or when he might strike again. So with people concerned about crime, concerned about law and order like this, the it would seem logical for Nicolas Sarkozy to campaign more strongly on these issues from now on. He has already been, of course, but uh, he will probably continue in this vein. It may also, of course, uh, profit Marine Le Pen, who we already mentioned earlier. She's uh, already been accused of trying to profit from it. She told the radio this morning that uh, the dangers of fundamentalist Islam in France had been underestimated so far. So uh, this does sort of almost she will say, prove the thesis that she has been advancing for years and she'll be hoping that this can give her a pole boost along with Nicolas Sarkozy. So I think we can assume that security and law and order are going to be the defining subjects of this campaign from now on. All right, thank you so much, Elena Casasa, reporting there from uh, the Elysee Palace.